friends, welcome back. For those who don't know me, I'm Kat. I'm a wife, a homeschool mom, and an avid reader. Last weekend, I saw the newly read tag and thought it would be fun to ask these questions to my husband and daughter and see which one knows me better. The way I'm going to work this is I have the list of questions and I have already um, done my answers. Uh, I did that as I saw it, uh, with the exception of um, one, and I do that, I'll do that during the video. Um, but uh, the whole object of the game is to get them to write down answers that match me, or what match what I wrote down. Whether or not it's 100% correct. Um, so, let's see how they did. Alright, first question. What is my favorite genre? And this is very broad. So, fantasy, sci-fi, romance, historical fiction, uh, non-fiction, horror, etc. Favorite genre. All right. Done by you enjoy most or that you read most? Um, I did enjoy most. Okay. Do you need to change your answer? I don't think so. Okay. So, what did you get, Dad? Fantasy. Fantasy? Fiction. Okay. Fiction, it was fantasy. All right, so my favorite is fantasy. <clears throat> All right, the next is least favorite genre. Following similar. Historical, non-fiction, non-fiction. It is non. Because she reads Outlander. Outlander really is considered is kind of historical. It is. It's start. It's at least close enough. Because it it's the historical parts of it. Okay. Would that be the time traveling part or the? No, where oh. she time travels to. Mm -hmm. So it's it, it's historical fiction. Okay. Or historical mm -hmm. fantasy is what they technically call it. Okay. What is something that I have to have to read? So when I go to read, what is something that I have to have? Or what is something that is nearby me all the time whenever I'm reading? Let's keep our answers PG. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Dad, what did you put? A book. A book. All right. Sarah? Okay. I put a blanket. I always have my blanket whenever I read. You've also always had a book too. You're right, but you're trying to match your answers to my answers. <clears throat> All right. So this one I changed from the newly read game um, because of Sarah's not knowing what tropes are. So. Um, and I changed it to my favorite movie adaption. Book that was then turned into a movie.
Paris. Outlander. Outlander. I put Fellowship of the Ring. Outlander's so, not a movie. Yeah, Outlander is a series, <clears throat> not a movie. All right. I figured it was one of the Tolkien's. Yes, it is a Tolkien. Um, all right. I should have guessed C.S. Lewis. <clears throat> that probably would be a close um, second. Like, Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. Yeah. All right, so now my least favorite movie adaption. Adaptation. I think I have mentioned it a few times to you, but I don't know if I've done it to Dad or in his hearing. I don't want to get this wrong, but it's the only one I can think of. Alright, Dad? I put the host. The host? No, nope. Sarah's put Harry Potter. No, nope. it's the last unicorn. Yeah, you know, I mentioned that today. Yeah, I've mentioned it to Sarah. I'm mad because that's one of my favorite movies ever. <laughs> Literally ever. All right. That's what right. it was called, The Host, right? The yeah. Host. That's the Stephanie Meyer. Yeah. Um, I forgot about the the thing. Because I didn't think you liked that. I one. didn't really like <coughs> that one. No. Okay. All right. Uh, what is a book that influenced my life? Well, yes, that's not what I put. Sarah's. The Lion, Witch, No, I put Harry Potter. I was thinking Harry Potter. Wow. I was. Wow. Yeah, I know. I know. Wow. I was thinking. Shame of, on me. See about Harry Potter. I you know those Harry Potter devotionals every day. Is that? No. No. Okay. No. Because I wasn't thinking about that. All right. So this is one I haven't written down yet. So I'll need to write it down. Um. <clears throat> I'll borrow your pen in a minute. What is a book that you and I disagree on? So I'll have, have to have two different answers. What is a book that you and I disagree on? What, what do you mean? Um, on, I guess, whether we like or not. I mean, there's a lot, but... Oh, uh, just wanting. <clears throat> All right. See, with you, it's hard, though. Depending on which way you go. Yeah. We're going to remove spiritual. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> that's kind of like the last I one. Was, it's Well, I mean, but come on. The way you phrased the last one. True. You are right. I'm not saying that you're wrong in that, but. Um... Gosh, this is hard. Um, cause this one I waited on cause I couldn't think of anything when I was writing them. I mean, yeah. not really if you're trying to match it to me. A book that you like or don't like that I do or don't. All right. You know what? I'm going to go this way. All right. Okay. All right. I think I got both of you, but we'll see. All right, dad. Twilight. Twilight. I did put Twilight for you. All right, Scritch Scratch. Scratch. You hate Scritch Scratch. No, I didn't Scratch? finish Scritch Scratch the first okay. time. I did finish it the second time. I did not put Scritch Scratch. I oh. put Tech Everlasting. Yeah, I, right. do, I don't like that one whatsoever. It's, so it's just dead on that one. Okay. Uh, this one 
might be different between the two of you as well. Okay. Which one of us reads faster, you or me? So, for you and I, is it you or me? Saris, you or me? Which read, who reads faster? All right, Dad? Okay, okay. Saris? You by a little bit. I put both of you, because you both tend to read books faster than I do. If we're like reading a similar book or, well, oh, yeah. Okay. I thought we were just right. talking overall reading speed. I mean, that point you're slightly faster than I, me. I think that you're faster than me as far as words per minute, but I may be wrong. Oh, okay. All right. Do I prefer paperback or hardback books? Ooh. In what respect? Uh, to read. Because if we're going by covers, oof. Uh, Does that help? Only for the words on the page? Uh, only for the reading experience. What kind of paperback? Paperback. It's like too broad. Mass produced type. I stuck with the original wording of theirs. Paperback or hardback. All right, Dad? It's paperback, but with a big asterisk. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Sarah? I went hardback. It is paperback or with a big asterisk. I like the, um, um, the floppy paperbacks mm -hmm. over the, I do not like the mass market ones. Mm -hmm. I, know. I am with you. Fair and, and I, I understand, I didn't think of that. Like, I, I just, fine, I just, the yeah. word paperback is too vague for. You're right. Okay. So this one, you're going to have one of four answers. Do I often, sometimes, rarely, or never? So, often, sometimes, <clears throat> rarely, never for the answer. Do I often, sometimes, rarely, or never reread books? Alright, Dad? We put sometimes. 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 Both of you got it right. Good job. <clears throat> you don't always, but you do often enough. Alright. The next question. With books that I am not enjoying, am I going to DNF it? Or push through and finish. I mean, that's really subjective as to why you're not enjoying it. I think you're thinking too hard about it. <laughs> but. Alright. Alright, Dad. Put DNF. Saris? You power through it. I tend to power through. I don't like to DNF books. There are a few I have. Scratch, scratch. But no, I went back and I finished Scratch, scratch. Well, again, it's the reason why you don't like it determines if you're going to power through it or not. Okay. But anyways. All right. What is my number of books to read goal for the year? How many books am I trying to read for the year? Alright, Dad? I'll put 52. 52? Sarah's? I'm going with 150. It's 100. Okay, because last year's was 90. So, I'm going based off last year's. Because you always try to aim higher. I usually year. read about two books a week. Alright, 
Would I rather read one book in a year and remember everything or read a hundred books a year and remember nothing? Alright, Dad? It's a hundred. A hundred? Sarah, say a hundred. You would rather read a hundred books and remember nothing then. Because it's about the experience for Our, you. And you would just reread them again and again. Plus, if I forget them, then I can read them again for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. When I'm reading, do I like silence or sound? <laughs> You're just staring me down. All right, Dad. Sound. Same. Same. Sound. Yeah. Considering you really have reading sprints on. Uh, reading sprints or ambience, yes. Yeah. Or your audiobook. Okay, this is a three-part question. <coughs> if I were to write a novel, what genre would it be? Would it be in first or third person point of view? And would it be a standalone or a series? So if I were to write a novel, what genre would it be in first or third person? First being using I, me, third being using cat, or, you know, using the name and he, she, and then a standalone or a series. All right, Dad? Fantasy first in a trilogy. Okay, Sarah? I went fantasy third and standalone. I did contemporary third and standalone. So I get two out of three of them. Well, it's one point. You had none on that one, right? And so I had two. All right. Well, I had fantasy. No, oh, I that, had okay. contemporary. Oh, okay, she had two because she had third. Yeah, third. Yeah, third and... Okay, so to see who... Knows me I've, better. I've seen you try to uh, put things down on paper, and you would most definitely write more than one book. You think so? Okay. <clears throat> I'm very intimidated by the writing process. Well, but that's why it's one of those, if you wrote a book... Yeah. Okay. So, <coughs> you guys both got three. The same three, right? Then, Saris, you got three right on top of that, so six, and dad, you got three more on top of that as well. So, you guys tied. Okay! What? I didn't get the Bible one? No. Because it didn't, it wasn't which one really influenced what I wrote down. Okay. Because when well, I, I think of, on that, but all right. when I think of reading, I don't think of my spiritual reading okay. in that. Well, thank you both for helping me out. And never doing the show again. Never again? Okay. Well, thank you for being on this time. For the second time. Because you, you helped with the book. The little free library one. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was saying he was never going to be on this show again. We need to do this again with movies. <laughs> Thank you. There you have it, friends. There was our fun little game, mostly for grins and giggles, especially as it ended in a tide. Uh, just let us know if you think that my husband technically won because he knows me better than I know myself, or if it did end in a tie game. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more little fun things like this, leave me a like so that I can uh, know which way to go in the future. I'll see you soon.